I'm looking so glam coming to you guys. You know, it's not a makeup season. We're talking about waist trainer. Yeah, did I get all this face glam for you guys? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, anyways, today's video is very cute. It's one of those ones that is my experience, and I just want to at least help somebody out there with my little information if you've got more on this topic that i want to talk about you can put your comments down so so many people can learn from you i want to talk about waist training what is waist training what is a waist trainer who is a waist trainer <laughs> all these questions i'm going to be answering to you guys guys please don't get bored take your popcorn and sit down and let's talk about waist training please like i said i am just a new baby in waist training if you've got more information you could put it down in the description box sorry in the comment section so we all can understand and yeah so i'm just gonna go quick into this what is a waist trainer a waist trainer is just an object that you could use you know to like waist train yourself bring your waist in arrange your posture because i read about it they also said as well that it helps with posture and everything but what i understand by waist trainer is just something that you can use to like help hold your core in help reduce some fat you know with the things you do with it that's what i understand by it's a waist trainer if you're out there if you know what a waist trainer is and you've got more good definition than me you can just but i just feel like just an object that you use to like just help posture yourself or help reduce some fat on your belly or help slim down your waistline and all of that and then and look appealing in your outfit because a waist trainer really does help with your outfit and what are waist trainers no, not what I waist trainer. What are the different types of waist training? I feel like there are different types of waist training, but I want to talk about these two types that I know. There is a waist trainer that you can wear under your outfit, and there is a waist trainer that you can literally use it to work out, and then there's sweat belts. I don't know sweat belt, maybe they're calling them sweat belt. But a waist trainer, they told me I talk, I talk too fast on my video, but let me slow down. Okay, a waist trainer, God, it's so slow. Okay, <laughs> waist, using a waist trainer with your waist also helps as well to reduce the fattiness and all of that you see going on and on i really forgot what i was talking about so yeah like i said there are different types of waist trainer there's a there's a waist trainer that you can wear under your outfit for literally all like literally the whole day and it's not going to hurt you the waist trainer that you can use to work out and i'm going to talk about this too and i'm coming after this particular point the, the thing i want to say is that there's a difference between waist training yourself and wearing a waist trainer to work out because when you wear a waist trainer to work out, you really want a waist trainer that will help you sweat. When I mean sweat, but if you want more sweaty things and for like maybe um other um waist trainers that can help you, you can go now and put waist trainer like sweat belts. That's what you're gonna really find. If you haven't watched my previous video, which I was talking about waist training, I'm gonna drop the link down. The reason why I'm, I'm gonna drop a link down on this particular video is because I want to talk about the menthol. If you have a normal waist trainer in your house and you don't have a sweaty belt. You can use any menthol thing, like let me say things like Vicks. I don't know about Orbas oil. I saw my friend writing it there. I don't know about Orbas oil, but I feel like things that are like Vaseline like, or maybe you can take Orba oil and then rub it with Vaseline. Things that are like that Vaseline paste that's what i can advise somebody to put it but i'm not a doctor please do not do it if your body is sensitive do not do it so next i want to talk about is that you could definitely put it on it if you don't have a sweat belt you could definitely put the vaseline first and then you put the clean flame or you can just put your waist trainer straight up but if you have money to get a waist belt a waist trainer for your outfit a waist trainer to work out good for you but some people cannot afford all of these things so these ones are for my people so the two types of waist trainer i spoke about is a sweat um sweat belts are one yeah but the main one i want to talk about is waist trainer to work out and waist trainer to honor your waist and then there's a difference between waist training your waist and then waist um, wearing a waist trainer to work out reason why i'm saying this one is because you can wear a waist trainer to work out because you want that sweat and everything and after that you take it out to dry but you can wear a normal waist trainer for the house like to wear it under your outfits to go out and stay more hours but beware please start from like maybe two hours i'm going to talk about it in some more point but start with like maybe two hours of walking no sorry two hours of wearing it three hours four hours and see how comfortable you are because we're going to also talk about the side effects of a waist trainer and then the first one i think i've already spoken about the three i think it should be three or two but i wrote here three different types of waist trainer a sweaty belt waist trainer a normal waist trainer to work out and a waist trainer to wear under your dress i won't really put the waist trainer sweaty belt but i will just leave it into the three types and then coming down to tips of using a waist trainer one tips i'm going to tell you guys and that's something that i already said about is putting mental on your belly please if you haven't watched this particular video where i was talking about putting mental i really showed how you guys should wear a waist trainer 
sorry i showed where you should apply the menthol on your belly but please if you haven't watched it go on my description box watch that video first before you watch this one at least you're going to understand why this video is about waist training so tips on waist training if you don't have like a sweaty bed or you need your waist to really reduce so quickly please guys always put like something menthol on your belly or even something like just vaseline or maybe oil but when you put something in the men that has that menthol feel it helps to burn down fat a lot and then i've spoken to, i think i've spoken already about the difference between waist training your waist and then using a waist trainer to work out and then use it i think another tips as well here is like use it gradually the reason why i say use it gradually and build it up is because someone can wear it a waist trainer for eight hours and that person is good with it and that person does not need to collapse but you can wear waist trainer for like five hours and you feel like fainting guys please take it easy start by wearing it for two hours continue by three hours continue with four hours continue to five hours continue with six hours gradually keep building the length of you wearing a waist trainer guys please keep building it up and then something else as well a tip here is says be hydrated please do not wear a waist trainer and you don't drink water be hydrating yourself i think even when you buy waist trainers you always write there keep being hydrated i don't really know the chemistry or the biology reasons behind it but i just feel like it's just really holding everything in i don't understand the reason behind it but once i just see the question keep yourself hydrated when you wear a waist trainer i just follow it as well is be patient be patient if you want to see a result be patient in buying waist trainers because i can recommend you a waist trainer and you can go buy it and you know it might not be good for you it might not be good for you it might be good for you but be patient guys you are gonna stumble on one or two or three of waist trainers that you don't like it may have worked for somebody else it may not have worked for this person but be patient with the best waist trainer you want to get and if you want an output of waist trainer you need to be patient and another thing as well i want to talk about is the benefit of using a waist trainer it helps reduces your waistline help reduces fat in the belly help reduces as well the food intake reason i'm going to start back with the help reducing of the line again if you haven't watched my previous video go watch my previous video and you're going to understand what i'm saying this reason why i'm sending it to my previous video is because i said when you're wearing a waist trainer it does not just mean that's the only thing you have to do for your body for your for your waistline to be like snatch yeah fine if you have worn your waist trainer before and then your waist is already all slim and everything good for you but if someone like me that i'm still struggling with my fatty belly here and everything i will literally have to check on my diet and everything before i wear a waist trainer so another thing another tips as well with uh, um, reducing waistline is because if you have love handles it can help you reduce those love handles on your waist and all of that and coming with a fat belly we all know as well that once your belly is fat and everything it will help put it all in and it's gonna help you not to eat a lot and it will help your belly to go down because once you just put it in it holds everything in and guys please beware check the check the sizes check the size description your waistline and all of that before you get a waist trainer don't just go see pardon just don't just go see five um, um small medium um, large extra large and you just buy please go and check the length of it and try and tape yourself and see if that is gonna go that's gonna go around your belly and give you enough room for you to put your belly to put all your belly in and the fat and i know it says help reduce food intake trust me it has helped me so much when i have waist trainer for a whole day guys i'm telling you it helps reduces my food intake i literally eat like just bread and i drink water and i'm so full i am so full who doesn't want to reduce their portion of food me I want to reduce my portion of food and I want to reduce the kind of food I take in my body. And then the last one that I'm going to talk about are the side effects. I haven't gone through any of this, but I had to research and at least write it down. I'm seeing here as well side effect is numbness that it can numb you down and then skin irritation because it's not everybody that um, um, waist trainer will go with maybe the fabrics and all of that. That's why I say please be careful of what you're going to put on your body like I said with the mentor. Please ask around or maybe know your body first because if you really ask around they might be like no you don't do it or something but please take medical advice or maybe don't do it if you're scared and then another one as well is bruises yeah because we we'll have those iron bars that are in between the waist trainers and all those bars as well can really help to like just bruise you around and please let's be careful if you see one of those um things coming out please just literally take it out just take it out don't waste time wearing it and keeping your body 
putting your body at risk or your skin at risk so please be careful if it's too tight take it out and then drop it that is one thing that i want to learn as well if it's bruising you take it out keep it wait for a while and then you can wear it and then breathing as well it could also have an effect on your breathing and those are the people that always use those tight ones like mm. no get the right size of a waist trainer do not put yourself at risk with breathing numbness and all of that i haven't been through it all. i haven't been through with any of these things but because i used it just gradually and i did not really check a lot of videos on it but i was just going according to my safety so guys these are the things i had to talk about waist trainer what else have you got have you been asking yourself what is the best waist trainer to use for yourself have you been asking yourself what is a sweaty belt have you been asking yourself all of these questions sweaty belts are just belts that you wear that the fabric inside really helps you to like sweat a lot and then the waist trainers that have like the bands like the waistbands and everything those are the ones that you can use to work out and the ones that have like the hooks those are the ones that you just use to just stay home or put it under your outfit and the ones that have zips so yeah any question ask me on my comment section because this is all i've got to say so anyways guys stay tuned and make sure you always come back oh this lighting room is gone again Stay tuned and always make sure to come back to my video. This is a golden hour, guys. This is golden hour. Uh, 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 uh.